this, I'm on blog TV with my- Minecraft is a pretty good game, but recent updates have kind of pushed me away. The last time I actually sat down and played being back during 1.16. In spite of all this, I recently booted up the game and started a new playthrough with a friend with the end goal of killing the Ender Dragon. So anyways, without further ado, here's my experience of Minecraft in 2023. Spawning in for the first time, I met up with the boys and just went through the usual steps. You know, getting some tools, upgrade to stone, go get iron. We're making really good progress, but then setback after setback. I could've made diamond tools, but instead, I fucking died! So yeah, obviously we kinda lost all our progress. In turn, some of us didn't want to play anymore. We were rightfully kind of annoyed. Oh my fucking god, I'm back at spawn. I'm actually losing my mind. I fucking hate the new cave so much. Dude, enjoy having lava everywhere and fucking 50 foot drops and fucking getting turned around a million times. Regardless, however, we moved on, building boats and setting off to find a new place we could start off in, just as Columbus did. Eventually, finding the greatest place for a base. Oh, wait, look at that, goddamn. Hold on, hold on, I can't, I'm in first person. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Bro, whoa! So, obviously, we sent down our stuff, spruced up the place, got everything looking the way we wanted. Eventually, however, we realized we need to name this place. But what to name it? We went back and forth on it for a while, discussed it long, and we named it Demon Claw. Peter. After this, I went off alone to explore and mine, and I'm gonna be honest, I ain't a huge fan of the new caves, but my god, they are beautiful. Anyway, I finally upgraded some of my tools to diamond, and also got obsidian for a never portal along the way. With that, I got off for the night, closing out the first day of the scuffed as fuck server. Hopping back on for day two, we decided to go explore the Never and try find a fortress. Spoiler alert, we failed. Also, this happened. Uh, what? Yeah, Fuck yeah, you, yeah, game! Yeah. Why do you do these things? Back in the overworld, I spent my time putting together a small farm and a cow pen so I could farm lever to build an enchantment area. This literally took me like four hours to finish because I couldn't find enough sugarcane. It was fucking annoying. Over the next few days, I also continued to look for a never fortress, constantly failing. No, oh, give me my fucking saddle back. He's away with my saddle. He's running. He's running. So, you know what? I decided to say fuck this and spent the entire next day making my part of the base look a bit better. And I also tried to get a fortune free pickaxe, which proved to be the biggest pain in my ass ever. Dude, I love when this fucking network lag, goddamn. Ah! Dude, why is there so many? Dude! Dude! They won't let me run! Dude, they fucking. Are in like five FPS. But this eventually it all worked out. Using said pickaxe, I mined enough iron and gold to last me the foreseeable future before heading out to do my first village raid. I'm gonna be honest, I may have underestimated the raids because I nearly got killed like six times while doing this. Anyway, then we headed home and Mittens wouldn't shut the fuck up about his burger. Okay, while we're on the way back, I gotta eat my burger. Oh no, my bacon fell out. Barbecue bacon burger. Can I even put this in the video? Nope. <laughs> I don't know, probably. It's all mostly downhill from here. After so long, I finally had to actually go and get fucking blaze rods. Something I had been dreading the entire playthrough. Through ancient techniques, we acquired the coordinates of a nearby fortress, setting off first thing on the final day of recording, and well... 
Pushing past this setback, we continued onwards to the fortress, suffering through so much of the Nevers bullshit until eventually I made it out with enough blaze rods to craft enough Eye of Ender for the end portal. And at this point, OBS decided to break the recording, so uh... Making it into the end, we went through the usual hoops. You know, breaking the towers, getting flung a hundred blocks into the air and dying a million times. Once the towers were dealt with, the dragon's AI bugged out and wouldn't land at the portal, so we had to do a minor alteration of time and space itself. And oh, what do you know, the dragon's dead. Returning home victorious, we made a little monument for the dragon's egg, and I used my experience gained from the fight to remake my lost enchanted tools. And yeah, I guess that's my goals for this playthrough done. Honestly, I thought this would take a lot longer, but you know, maybe that's just a showcase of what playing Minecraft your entire childhood does to a motherfucker. But yeah, that was my experience with Minecraft in 2023. Lots of fun, a lot more pain, and just the right amount of bullshit. Who knows, maybe I'll come back and do all the new side shit down the line. Fight the wyvern, get Neverite gear. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop a like, and I'll see you in the next video. There he is. No way, no way. Oh shit, what's up?